What's up guys, my name's Jonathan, this is my Canon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Canoneer. Now today we got something super cool that we're going to be shooting out of our Canon. We got a bunch of 3D printed cannonballs. Now you guys may have seen our 3D printed wad that we used to shoot the grape shot out of our Canon, and I got to thinking while I was making that, you know what, I can print anything I want, why don't I print some cannonballs? And that's exactly what I did. I got some round ones, I got some spirally ones, I got some that are shaped like mini balls from the Civil War, all kinds of cool cannonballs that are 3D printed using PLA. They're 100% infill, so they're as solid as can possibly be, and we're going to be shooting those out of our Canon today to see how those things do against a watermelon, or if they shoot out of a cannon at all, see if they're accurate, see if they just kind of fall apart, see if they just deteriorate when you shoot. I have no earthly idea what's going to happen to them. So we're going to head over to the range, get those things loaded up, and see what happens. Well, while we're headed over to the range, if you guys haven't done so already, drop down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all the cool content that we got coming out in the future, the things that we're going to be shooting with our cannon, and things that we're going to be shooting out of the cannon. So we'll go ahead and get this loaded up, head over to the range, and I'll see y'all over there. Okay guys, for our very first shot over here at the range, we're going to go ahead and get our 3D printed cannonball loaded up into our cannon. This is full infill, 100% solid PLA, and that's going to be all of our cannonballs that we're going to be shooting today that we printed out of our 3D printer. So let's go ahead and get this loaded up inside of our cannon and see how it does compared against a regular lead cannonball against a watermelon. Okay guys, for our very first shot, we got our 3D printed cannonball loaded up. It's a little round cannonball made out of PLA filament. We're gonna see how that works against a watermelon compared to our lead cannonball that we've already shot out. Let's go check out our watermelon. Well, we hit it at least. Did we put a hole right through the center of it? It looks like we missed it completely. Oh, wow. We hit the wood and there's a giant plastic cannonball embedded in that wood there. Wow, that's a big piece of wood for a little tiny plastic cannonball. So let's go ahead and put our watermelon back up and we'll reset and try to hit our watermelon with a plastic cannonball. Okay guys, since we missed with our first shot with our 3D printed cannonball, we got another one loaded up. We're going to see if we can hit the watermelon again with our cannonball. Hopefully we don't miss this time. Well, it looks like our 3D printed cannonballs are a little hard to aim, and they maybe don't weigh enough to get directly hit where we want it to aim. So there's our watermelon perfectly intact. Let's get another type of 3D printed cannonball loaded up and see if we can actually hit the watermelon with that one. Okay guys, since it looks like our 3D printed round cannonball is a little too light and very inaccurate, we're going to go ahead and load up one of these, a 3D printed version of a mini ball. So let's get this loaded up in our cannon and see if it actually fires a little more accurately and what kind of damage this does against a watermelon. Okay guys, for our next shot, since our round cannonball didn't do anything, we got our 3D printed mini ball loaded up. Let's see how that does, if we can even hit our watermelon down there. Hey, I think we hit it. Or did we hit the wood again? I think we may have hit the wood. Yep, our watermelon looks perfectly intact. And right there in the wood is the remnants of our 3D printed mini ball. These things do not want to shoot very accurately at all. Okay guys, since it looks like our 3D cannonballs are horridly inaccurate, 
we went ahead and moved our watermelon up about 10 yards and we got another mini ball loaded up and let's see if we can hit it this time. And we still missed. <laughs> Those things are so inaccurate. Didn't even hit it at all. Well guys, since it looks like that mini ball still missed even at 20 yards, we've got a spiraled 3D printed cannonball here with a nice point on it. Hopefully this will put some spin on it and make it a little more accurate for us and we can finally hit our watermelon with this version of a 3D printed cannonball. Okay guys, we got our little spiraled 3D printed cannonball up. We got our watermelon down there at 20 yards. Let's see if we can finally hit it. Hey, hey, it looks like we finally got one for once. So that's the trick to this. You got to have a nice spiral cannonball with some things pr printed into it, little uh, fins and some stabilizers printed into it. Watermelon is everywhere. So that's the trick. You can see that big old hole that that mini ball blew in the wood. That's the trick to a 3D printed cannonball. You got to stabilize it. Okay, guys, since we finally hit something with our spiral cannonball, we're going to see if we can hit something with a giant 3D printed pellet. This is basically a giant pellet that you would shoot out of your BB gun that I printed. And we're going to see if we can hit the watermelon with this. And if we can, how much damage it'll do compared to the spiral cannonball or just a lead cannonball in general. Okay guys, since we were finally able to hit the watermelon with our 3D printed spirally looking cannonball, I've got another pellet loaded up in here that's pointy. Hopefully that'll help give us the added accuracy that we need to hit this watermelon. We got it at 20 yards. So let's go ahead and touch it off and see if that pellet will do some damage against that watermelon. Hey, we hit it. I don't think it did quite as much damage though. Yep, I still see most of a watermelon sitting there. Yep. Hey, there's all pieces of the <laughs> pieces of the cannonball though coming out of it. Looks like it just shredded when it hit it. There you go. I still wouldn't want to get hit with one even if it is 3D printed. Okay, guys, for our next pellet. I've got a flat version of the giant BB pellet that I printed. Um, I don't think this one's going to fly quite as accurately since it's not pointed. It's a flat. I think it's going to more tumble when it comes out. But let's see what happens when we shoot this out of a cannon. And let's see how much damage this can do against our watermelon. Okay, guys, for our very last 3D printed cannonball shot, I've got our flat nose pellet loaded up. And let's go ahead and see if we can even hit our watermelon. And if we can, how much damage it does. Well, it looks like we missed by a mile. I think I saw it hit up in the back there on the bank. I'll have to check out the slow-mo. So it looks like the trick to 3D printed cannonballs is they have to be pointy or they have to be spirally. Other than that, they just kind of wildly tumble around and they're kind of hard to aim. 
Well guys, that was pretty cool. Although I really didn't expect those 3D printed cannonballs to be quite as inaccurate as they really were. I think the round one and the mini ball, they just kind of come out of there and they don't have enough weight maybe and they just kind of tumble. Um, but when we add those fins to them where they got that little spiral, it looks like they come out and maybe catch the air and start spinning like a football and that keeps them nice and straight. But they sure do some damage to wood and I sure watch those watermelons get destroyed when you hit them that way. And I really wouldn't want to get hit with one either way depending on what it's made out of. Now I hope you guys enjoyed our 3D printed cannonball episode and if you guys would like to see some more of our 3D printed cannonballs there's plenty of cool designs we can come up with of things to print just drop down in the comments below and let us know. And if you guys have any other cool ideas about things you want to see us shoot with our cannon or things that you want to see us shoot out of our cannon here leave a comment and we'll get those out hopefully for you guys in a future video. Now once again my name's Jonathan this is my cannon and thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Cannoneer and I'll catch you guys on the next one.